Hey everyone, Matt Gunn here with rcgroups.com and in this video review I'm going to go over the Turnigy Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. It's a 130 amp safe, uh, basically an amp meter, watt meter, volt meter. It's pretty bulky, it's designed to keep on your workbench, although if you have a giant scale aircraft or if, you've, if you're flying a large heli or a large multi, you, know, you can probably put this thing on there. It probably weighs as much as a, I don't know, a 3S. Uh, maybe 1200 pack. It doesn't weigh a lot, but still, it's not exactly lightweight. I've never used it. Um, it comes without any leads on it. I'll put XT60s on it. And the reason I decided to buy this was kind of on a whim. I dunked the front of my Tidewater here at Ceph last year and uh, fried the ESC. So I thought, well, I'll just order another ESC. And then I got to thinking, well, I wonder how many amps I'm pulling. It has a 30 amp in it. Should I put a 45? Can I go down to a 25 or a 20? What's the actual amp draw static uh, of the Tidewater? So, you know, clicked a few uh, sites, found this little Turnigy on Hobby King and ordered it. And, uh, you know, I just took the plastic off the cover here. I've never used it. It's got a nice little matte finish plastic case on it, uh, air vents in the back there if you're pulling uh, heavy amps. It's got really good resolution. It's, um, it says that it uh, can go up to 130 amps, uh, up to 60 volts, up to 6,554 watts, up to 65 amp hours, resolution of 001 amp hour, and um, watt hours up to 6554. It weighs 82 grams, it says, and it's uh, actually backlit, so it's got a nice blue display on it. So what I'll do is go ahead and uh, solder up these uh, XT60s I have on here. I've got my soldering station here and put the new ESC in, and we'll do a static pull on the bench here and see how, this th how well it works, if it's worth the $25 or not. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. All right, we've got the XT60 connectors installed, soldered on. I've got the um, new 30 amp ESC installed in the plane. And we're going to do a bench pull static and see how many amps the prop motor combination pulls on a stock Tidewater versus the 30 amp ESC. So what we'll do is hook it up in line and I'll fire everything up and just do the pull. So first we'll hook it up here. And we'll go ahead and turn my transmitter on. Throttle set to zero. I will plug it in. All right, so you got the nice blue lit, blue back backlit screen. Uh, the top here shows current amp draw, current volts, and current watts. Down here in the bottom left corner, it cycles through the peak values as well as the average values. The only problem is, is that it cycles through every 0.4 of a second. So it happens pretty fast. There's no way to pull it up uh, without just watching it. There's no buttons on this thing. There's no way to change the speed. You get the value every 0.4 of a second, which is kind of difficult to read. As soon as it's up, you have to read it and process it, and it's almost not fast enough excuse me, your brain is almost not fast enough to process one after another. You just have to look at it and wait for the one you want and uh, read it and hopefully you get it right. If not, it'll be back around shortly. Uh, that's the only downfall so far with this uh, precision watt meter. So let's go ahead and do a pull and we'll see how many amps the Tidewater puts out. Stand by. We got, that was an eight second pull, 21 uh, amps is the peak, and let's get, wait for it to come back so I can fully read it. 21.35 amps peak, 220 watts peak, 
0.2 of a watt hour and uh, there you go. I mean it says exactly what you need to know. It's going to tell you as you're doing the pull the current voltage and afterwards what the excuse me the current amps and then afterwards the uh, maximum amps and whatnot. So it's a good unit, uh, $25. I would recommend one. It's a little heavy for most park flyer foam aircraft but for a giant scale I guess you could put it on board and see what you're pulling. It's good up to 130 amps and the price is decent. It's available in the US warehouse for Hobby King so it ships pretty quickly. Thanks a lot for watching my video review of the Turnigy Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer.